Okay, we're going to make cooked cabbage today. And I've washed, I've peeled off the couple of the outside of my cabbage and I've washed it. And so I'm gonna, I've got a knife that's made for cutting lettuce and cabbage and that's course. And I'm going to put it in my skillet. We'll cut it up. Your cabbage, it'll look like you have a lot, but cabbage cooks down as you cook it. Cut it all up here. You can use all the cabbage except the nasty hard part, which is the you know the core. Cut up here. This will take about 45 minutes to an hour over medium to low heat. That's how I like to cook it. Other, otherwise, it'll scorch on you. As your cabbage cooks, it'll cook the water out of it. And I like to cook it until the water is cooked back out of the pan. So it's you want to stir it every once in a while. It's not a dish that you can just walk off and leave for a long period of time. Okay. See, it looks like there's quite a bit of cabbage in our skillet. And we're, you want a skillet that you got to uh, cover for so we can cover it. And the spices that I'm going to use are probably two teaspoons of pepper and probably and then Mrs. Dash, the original blend. Putting about three tables uh, three teaspoons of it on there and a tablespoon of virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons, three tablespoons of butter. And I like to put um, fourth of a cup of bacon bits in there. If I have ba uh, bacon grease, I put a tablespoon of bacon grease in the bottom of this too. Oh, it adds a real nice flavor. All right, now I'm going to put this on the stove on low to medium heat. And I'm going to cover it and watch it and stir it often. And we're going to cook it for, like I said, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. My cabbage has been cooking for about 15 minutes. And so I want to stir it. It's becoming tender. And that's what, that's what you're after, of course. It's for, it'll get tender as we cook it. I'm going to stir it up because I don't want it to... It won't stick with the butter and the... If you turn it, turn it up on high, it would, but we got it over a medium to low heat, and we're keeping a close eye on it. it smells good. Pull my pan back over. And we're going to stir it around every once in a while. And put the lid back on it. And we'll let it cook some more. Okay. It's been about 20 minutes, so I want to check my cabbage. Stir it up. Turn it down a little bit lower because it's starting to stick a little bit, even in my non-stick skillet. But it is getting nice and tender. And that's how you know when it's done, is when it's good and tender. I like mine to have a little bit of this in there. It adds a little bit of extra flavor to it. Stir it up. Cooked cabbage goes with a lot of good things, but I have a pork sausage that I'm going to throw on the grill, and the two flavors blend well together. I'd say we're going to cook this probably another 15 20 minutes, and that'll make it, it should be done then, be good and tender. Because some of these bigger pieces. To have the vein type thing in it are still a little bit crisp. So we're going to cover it and let it cook some more. 
It's been about five minutes since I checked it last time, and I've turned my heat down as low as I can get it, and I've stirred it up because it's cooked almost tender, and I don't want it to scorch. So reduce your heat as low as you can get it, and keep a closer eye on it than you have previously. You know, stir it more frequently so it doesn't stick or scorch. Okay, it's been an hour since we started our cooked cabbage. It is now done. This smells great. It's nice and tender. And it's just the way we like it. Enjoy.